With the eastern pavilion of the chateau nearly watertight, we're now able to commence work on some of our first floor projects, with our priority being around some creature comforts, namely a new bathroom, laundry, and most excitingly, the chateau's first ever showers. This week, a visit from our architect helps us work through some of the complexities of the distribution and evacuation of water, and we work with our local stonemasons to start preparing these rooms. Never in its 250 year history has Pernod ever had a bathroom with a shower in it, but that is all about to change and that's the reason that I'm coming to you today from this strange little window in the corridor of the premier etage or the first floor. Now you may recall that each principal bedroom here in the chateau has two adjoining rooms. One room was a dressing room and the second room was for the maid. And this room was the maid's room for Alexandre de Lamotte. Now Alexandre was the younger brother of the Marquis and he'd had a very successful naval career. And he had retired from his naval duties in 1772 and then worked his way up to become the director of the Academy de Marine. He was also a Knight of the Order of Malta and St. Louis and lived to a very old age of 90, although he died in Paris and not here at Pernon. Now, Alexandre wasn't the only family member that the Marquis built a bedroom for here at the Chateau because on the ground floor was the bedroom for the Marquis' mother but it's this small maid's room here that is about to become Pernon's very first bathroom with a shower. Now this room has the original 18th century Tomette floor and like everything here at Pernon, the goal is to conserve and restore all the original features that we can. And so tomorrow our stonemasons are coming and they're going to help us very carefully lift up the Tomette floor We'll clean all the debris underneath the tomette. And this is really the preparatory work for then the electrician and plumber to come in and start their work. Creating these bathrooms in the chateau is actually quite complex to do it in a way that's respectful to the original bones of the chateau. So we don't want to create bathrooms that are modern and that don't sit well into the chateau's beautiful old bones. So I'm really excited to get started on this and to see it come together, but I'm even more excited at the prospect of having a shower in the chateau for the first time, because trust me, three years without a shower and it's starting to wear a little bit thin. Nous on est dans cette euh, on est dans la pièce qui est euh, en dessous de ça ici mm -hmm. donc au deuxième étage donc aujourd'hui au, au deuxième étage il n'y a rien mais il y aurait comme il y a déjà une salle de bain qui vient d'être faite au, au, au premier mm -hmm. donc euh, sur, sur la chute existante sur ouais. la chute existante qui va falloir justement rapatrier à l'intérieur puisque pour l'instant c'est une chute extérieure et, et ça c'est pas ce qu'il faut et, et donc euh, comme on va restaurer les façades il faudra la rapatrier donc en fait l'idée c'est de créer en fait, des, des, une descente ici dans, dans l'angle, une descente ici dans l'angle, mm -hmm. et de rapatrier euh, ça ici. Bon, la seule chose qu'il va y avoir, donc là, on va passer, on va passer là. Voilà. Et donc, euh, donc cette, euh, le chiffon sera là. On est dans, dans l'angle, ici. Donc là, il va falloir que l'évacuation le, 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 du, 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 du ouais. toilette mm -hmm. passe là, ici. J'ai réfléchi sur le, le bus de bas. Je pense yeah. qu'on avait besoin de toute la, la longueur yeah. de, de la pièce parce que si on coupe et on pourra prendre un placard derrière, ouais. je pense qu'il ne reste pas assez d'espace de, d'avoir un espace sèche. Ah oui, ouais, entre la porte et. Oui, mm. ouais, il faudrait pousser le bec à douche à fond. Oui, bah oui, on n'a pas besoin de ça. Il ouais. faut avoir aussi quelques, un espace pour. Oui, attacher le bras une serviette. Et... Ouais. Oui, c'est vrai. Regarde. Si. Ouais, mais là, ça fait mal. Si... Je pense que la, la douche sera trop Parce que Félicité, regarde, ce qu'on peut faire aussi, c'est venir là, si tu veux. Ah oui. En fait, on, peut fait... on peut décaler la poison. Ouais. Tu vois Faire juste ça, tac, tac. Ouais. Ça, il faut demander à Frédéric. Ouais. Parce que je sais que c'est... En fait, si c'est le fond d'origine, mais je, je sais pas si, si, si ouais. c'était refait. Moi, je pense que c'était refait, mais il faut... Ouais, faut voir avec lui. Il 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 faut voir avec lui. Oui. Avec le bois. Le toit, on va la tomber, celle-ci. Ah. Le toit, il y a un bois. Ah, par contre, il y a un bois là. Il doit aller dans le là-haut. Ouais, du coup, on ne peut pas reculer tellement loin. Ok, donc il faut garder le mur là-bas, mais ouais. peut-être on peut avoir un placard. Derrière Derrière. Ouais, tu peux faire un placard là. Ouais. Ah, il y a un truc, il y a un truc. 
C'est le propre, et ça après, ça. le final c'est comme ça. Comme ça, okay. comme ça hein, tu vois, c'est pour les reposer. Oui. Et les côtés aussi, tu vois. Ok. Je veux ça, tu vois. Mais quand il y en a, parce que tout ce qu'il n'y en a pas, c'est ça. Hein. Ok, okay. in a sec because the Geelong game is about to start. Who are they playing? They're playing Sydney at Kennedy Park so this will be the test as to how good they really are this year. Go Tommy Hawkins. Wait, is he feeling playing for them? Sorry? Is he feeling playing for them? Is the Tomahawk? Go Tomahawk. Wait, are you a cat supporter? You're a cat supporter, aren't you? Yeah. 
the tomahawk to just squeeze through a goal. And then you shoot. You want no question. But in football, it never pays to grow too soon. Do you want to run? Oh. I think it was when they did the, the trio for the water. Yes, I've noticed in a few places it's like that. Uh, Jose, do you ever regret offering to help us all those years ago? <laughs> Remember when you said you would help clear your own hearing? Did you think several years later you would still be working? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you're seriously the world's best neighbour. Oh my gosh, of all our days here, I don't think I've been as tired or filthy as I am today. <laughs> well, it's been a long day, but we started this morning taking off some of the doors from the rooms around us. So I think we got five or six doors off and then that allow allowed us to start lifting all of these tomets or these 18th century tiles. And we've lifted, as you can see from the piles around us, hundreds of them. I just saw another pile in there as well. <laughs> But they now all have to be cleaned, and we've started cleaning them, and they get cleaned, with, which has to be, I might add, one of the worst jobs. Yeah, I tried it and gave up after not even finishing one. But we use this sort of this medieval torture instrument, um, but it's actually really, really effective, which shows that, the, in a sense, the old ways are often the best ways, and it takes off all of the old grouting, and, um, they look really nice yeah, after, don't they? When they've been cleaned, they look, they look amazing. They'll yeah. need a bit of a treatment on top, maybe a light sand or something like that to get this sort of sealant that was put on it sometime in the 20th century. But they are beautiful tiles. Yeah. Um, and we really want to save and preserve as many of them as we can. And even a few that are broken when we've been lifting them up will um, be able to be used uh, as sort of part pieces in different spots. We've taken them up in the future bathroom, the future laundry, a future shower, and the locale technique and the corridor between the locale technique and the new shower. And the locale technique is the, is the room that our infrastructure will go in, hot water si systems now, electricity boxes and stuff, so we get them out of the way and, and that just keeps everything in the rooms themselves as tidy as possible. Look at you, Trish. <laughs> just a delight. <laughs> She's so dusty. She's dusty. Look at all the dust coming <laughs> off her. Okay, I think I'm going to go have a shower. I don't even have a shower. I think I'm going to go have a bath. Oh no, wait, the hot water's not working. I think whatever water goes into that bath, you're just about to completely change the colour of it as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. To be continued. Good work, babe. <laughs>